Hey everyone, and welcome to part one in this series about becoming a lot better at Word, at least learning some tips and tricks that can help you become a Word rock star. I've got my assistant. You gonna help me do this one? No, he's not. He's going to take a nap. So that's what he does. It's uh, It's been a long day for Blue the Boxer. But we will get right into it. In this first lesson, we are going to add checkboxes to Word documents. And this will help you, especially if you're a technical writer or just anyone who has to make a procedure or you have to tick off things that are done. Or if you make what I like to call, this is crazy, a to-do list. So if that's you, these two ways will help you do just that. So the first way is pretty straightforward. For printed output, if you want to print out a copy of a to-do list or procedure and have people manually check off the boxes, probably the easiest way to do it is just to make a bulleted list. You probably know how to make a bulleted list. And then you can go into the properties of the bulleted list. Click up here in the home tab of the ribbon in the paragraph grouping. Click there. Click on define new bullet. And then from here, you'll choose a symbol. Now, as you see, you can also scroll through this list and choose from different fonts if you want to. So you can explore around in this symbol dialog box, but most of the time you just want to create your checkboxes and get going. So you can commit this to memory if you want to, uh, symbol 240, which you can select in the symbol decimal. In any event, you click on OK and OK again, and now you've got some boxes that you can just check off when you create the printed output. Now, that's not a clickable checkbox, and that may be something that is a little more handy to create something in Word that becomes something that people can click and indicate that it has been done. So if you want to do that, that's not as readily apparent. For this, you have to go to the Developer tab. So you have to first go to the Backstage view, then you have to uh, go to the Options, and then once you have the Word Options open up, you want to customize the ribbon. So from here, you want to add the Developer tab. So customize the ribbon. I want to make sure that the Developer tab is checked, then click on OK. And then once you have this Developer tab uh, available to you on the ribbon, you can go to the Developer tab and then in the controls grouping, you see this guide right here. You see this checkbox content control. So all you have to do is go to wherever you want the checkbox to appear. And in this case here, I want to put this checkbox in a table. So I've created a table and you see the procedure steps and whether or not they've been completed. And then I just click that right there. So there is my checkbox. And then with the checkbox selected, I can just, you know, I can do that procedure again, or I have the ability, if I give it a click correctly, I can select it. And you want to select this little guy right here, that little handle, and then do a copy and then a paste, and you can continue on. Now, because I had checked it already with one of my clicks, I can uncheck it, but you see the thing that is possible with a click this is now a clickable checkbox control. So as you might guess, this works much like any other icon that you would insert into a Word document where you can use that little handle to select and then cut, copy, and paste. You can even go to the Home tab, and if you want to, you can change the formatting of the text box, although it's not really that important. Now, under most circumstances, that's not going to be a big deal because it's just a box with an X in it, but if you want it to match the other formatting that you have in your document, that's fine. So that's the really cool way to add a checkbox into a Word document. Of course, if you print the output and it is unchecked, then it just prints out as an empty thing that you can manually check with a pen or a pencil. But as you can see, it takes a little more effort to create these uh, checkbox controls than it does to just change the formatting of your bulleted lists. So that's it, two quick procedures to make you a Word rock star. If you want more like this, remember that this is part one in a series. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that stuff that uh, everyone always tells you to do. Beyond that, the other takeaway is that Chiefs fans like me will take any opportunity to segue into a reminder that the Chiefs have just won Super Bowl 54. So once every 50 years, 
Blue, you excited about that, that Super Bowl win? He is absolutely thrilled. See you next time.